good day today I'm going to demonstrate if you have a weed eater that won't start and you try all methods to check to see if you have a good spark plug and it failed instead of running out to get a spark plug all you do it yourself is out there it's wise for all homeowners to have a multi-purpose meter either analog or a digital they are quite cheap and it will save you a lot of money instead of running out and buy a spark plug for your weed eater and you find out that the spark plug is still good the spark plugs has a conductor from here to here to make uh, make it simpler for do it yourself as it's connected from this point to that point here that's the live side this is ground together with that when you screw the spark plug in to the weed eater that makes ground to the body your coil cable is connected here when you try starting the weed eater it will send some current into here it would come out here and when it reached there it would spark before I get into showing you all how to check to see if the spark plug is good if you're new to this channel please subscribe I have a video coming out every Friday if you like this video give me the thumbs up and click on the bell icon if for some reason you give me the thumbs down please comment in the description why you give me the thumbs down and I'm open to suggestions when testing your spark plug you put your multimeter on ohms I'll use the analog both of them are the same you connect one lead down here just make sure that you are not holding or touching the spark plug because our body has electricity and it will read or you may get a false reading you put you connect one end you take your multi-purpose meter you take the other end 
and you touch this here you'll get continuity if for some reason you don't get no reading that means the spark plug is in good you could also touch the body if you touch the positive side down here you don't see your needle move you touch the body if touching the body the needle moves which means this is cracked and instead the current flows down here it comes out here which means your spark plug isn't good you could also check for continuity by putting this here do not let it touch the centerpiece and you go to ground that whole thing here is ground that the top hair and the top hair is it has some insulation this goes all the way down if you notice that's it here if you're not getting spark that means that is cracked in here instead the current flows down here it comes out to the body you could also check to see if this is cracked if it's not cracked you get in good continuity from here to down there that means your spark plug is good you should check your coil the coil cable to see if these are also good i'll be doing a video sometime down the line how to check to see if your coil is good also i'll be posting in the description certain things you could try to find out if your spark plug is good so if the weed eater wants that instead of running out and get a spark plug only to find out the problem isn't your spark plug test it if you don't have a multi-purpose meter you could take out your spark plug from the housing put it in the in the how we call that the spark plug cable Put it into the spark plug cable take your spark plug put it to the body the metal part of the weed eater try not to hold down here you will get shock hold the body of the spark plug cable the boot hold the boot if the spark plug isn't staying there uh, properly for you to pull your weed eater hold the boot of the spark plug cable put it the end here let it rest on the metal part of the weed eater and pull the string or starter to see if you get in 
spark. Your spark must be blue. Once you have a good blue spark, that means your spark plug is good, your coil is good, and your lead is good. Uh, check the description for any other little things. I'll be putting everything in the description for you to uh, check on. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. If you like this video, please support me by subscribing. Until the next one, bye.